Beautiful bowl, dude. Right over the counter. Well, we're up here, opening day of third season, Colorado over counter elk. Looking for some elk, but all we're seeing is deer so far. <laughs> a lot of deer. A lot of deer. We should be able to turn something up though, so just keep after it. Yep. I lost my voice, so I'm doing <laughs> sign language today. <laughs> yeah. We'll turn some balls up, I bet. Yeah. Just give it. Well, you just got a glass. And Good weather and ridges. some snow. They should be up and moving most of the day, so we should be able to turn something up, I think. Yep, I think so. It might be worth checking one of these things at night. Just that little section. Wish I could float. I guarantee you they're probably eating that agriculture stuff. <coughs> All they are is a mountain cow. Just a wild domestic cow. That's all they are. We're the antlers. Is that a tree chase? <laughs> wild domestic cow? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Twinkies with horns. Just a mountain Twinkie, that's what we're looking for. Right. Just a tan Angus with antlers. <laughs> There's deer out there, but I'm not looking for them, so I haven't seen one yet. Alright, so we met up with my uh, cousin Casey, and uh, he's taking us up, up here to supposedly where there's a whole bunch of elk, so I can't barely talk. <laughs> and I hope we can kill a damn bull tonight, so that's the plan. Side, you can. Yeah, yeah, you can look back that way up yeah. that canyon. Yeah, which you may see that five point. Yeah, there. we can go do that. Whatever you think. Let's see, like this elk trail that's coming off of here. Mm -hmm. That wasn't there when we come or when we set up our camp. So they come off of that in the night when we were probably all came here drinking around the freaking drinking around camp. Yeah, drinking around camp. I said the first night, I was like, dude, was I here in elk last night? Was I dreaming? Casey told me I was dreaming, and then we went out and we heard elk bugling. Yeah. I was like, there ain't elk bugling this time of year. Well, we went up there and there was bull bugling everywhere. <laughs> So we located a, a whole bunch of elk tonight and uh, we got a pretty good game plan to get around on them in the morning. So we're going to hit the side by sides. We're way back in here. Casey's camp's way far in here, but we're going to get back, uh, get some dinner and get in there early in the morning. I think we can get on these bulls. So exciting. We got a whole bunch found. start this morning but there's elk tracks right by the truck so we're hiking through this burn we're gonna get up on top of this ridge where we seen I don't know close to 200 head last night but there's tracks from yesterday morning and they're all heading this way so I think we'll be able to turn some bulls up here in a minute mm -hmm. Look, we'll go around this first little hill and then just drop 
the bottom and then we can see what weighs better left or right. But I was thinking right, yeah, just because you're closer to the yoke. Oh, then going that way. Yeah. yeah. Going up that bottom with the yeah. arms. Yeah, and I'll go up that way. We can just side hill. We can just side hill on that. And, uh, it's really not that bad. I've hiked up that. Uh, I've hiked up shit like that a lot. Yeah. Really Thanksgiving up here, early November. I got Snickers. Yeah, you do. Two piece. I've got Reese's King size we're sharing over a dead ball. I got some barbecue Viennas. <laughs> we'll suck on them Lolinis. So we're about to hike up this bulimoth of a mountain. But all the elk tracks are headed right into where we see them. We're definitely late, but well, worst case, we'll get up here and we'll hunt the evening. And I think we can hunt them all day. They're just going to be bedded on top. So we're going to go kill us a couple bulls, hopefully at least two. Yeah, we should get several shooters up in there. So yeah, should be able to turn a couple up, I would think. Yep. Just got to work for it. <laughs> That's an understatement. taking a five minute break drinking some water we had about 35 head of elk cruise by on us right above us going towards where we're headed so going the right direction for sure what do you think skip i think i didn't see a bull over a three point in that group but if i can draw five points on one i'll be letting lad go I think I could get it to this edge and probably ride the elk all the way to the bottom. Just hop on it? Yeah. Pull its head back and yep. slide. We're gonna find one though. All right, so we're set up on some bulls right now. Uh, they're a good distance away, about 850 yards. So we're gonna try, try one if we can get a good broadside shot. So there's no wind. We'll give it a shot and see where we hit. That bottom one's a four by five that's with him. And then the bedded one I think is a 5.2. Can you see him very good, Kyle, in your scope? I can see him. Well, I, I can't see it. So you're thinking 900? And you feel good about 18 on the dial? I thought that on one. Okay. I'm gonna hold, I'll hold slightly left for some spin drift too. If he goes up into that clearing above him, like there's one clearing and then there's two clearings, I can shoot him in that second one. Yeah, or if he goes to the right. I feel good about it if you guys do. Should we let him have it? Alright, yeah. Where that was. Looking right at you. Oh, I know be able to tell. Okay, can you still see him? Yeah. Kyle, what's the range? 910. Should I just hold it right on him? Yeah. I'm not even hitting in the vicinity. Can I try your gun, Kyle? I don't care. He's down, he's going down. Oh. You hit him. You hit him, he's down. Oh, I guess I did get him. He's down. I was gonna say, he picked up his leg. <laughs> I was like, where the am I hitting? Kyle, the upper one's going to the left. He's gonna come up in with the clearing. Good job, buddy. He's oh, gone. Nice. Is that one coming out? <laughs> he's basically Take your time, on. take your time, Kyle. In that line of fine, but he's about to come Okay, out. I can see him. Good job, Skippy. He's a little, he's a little bit higher, but he's coming out of that line of pines <laughs> on this left side. Okay. okay. Yeah. 
Yeah. About right there. There Still you go. About yep. it? Okay, hold the brisket. Oh, fuck. That's hit. Is he hit? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, yeah he's acting hit. Watch him. Okay, Hit him again. <laughs> he's running down. Yeah, he's going downhill. Yeah, you're not gonna get can another shot him? on him. Can you see him at all? He's down at mm -hmm. the bottom, he's going this way. Uh, I tipped a bull over and then a bull ran closer to us and Kyle was able to get a couple shots off and it looked like he hit his. It ran into the bottom. We can't pick him back up, but we're gonna bust down and then my cousin's gonna pick us up in the bottom and see if we can't finish his bull off if it's still alive. But two oh, bulls boy. down, dude. Yeah, buddy. Good, Good job, job, buddy. That was sweet. That was fun. Yeah, right here. Lungs, huh? Yeah. Well, there he is. A little broken third. I don't know that you can ask for much more on a third season over the counter hunt with all your friends and heck of a good time. Uh, long shot, he went right down and I couldn't be any more happy with my first bowl, so we, uh, I've got a lot of work ahead of us. It's 7.30 right now. The temperature's dropped and uh, we gotta get to work cutting this sucker up. So we're uh, not gonna waste any time. Couldn't be any more grateful. Kind of took a morning off to regroup. We spent all night packing Sky's bull out. Um, looked for Kyle's bull. It must have been a clean miss because we couldn't find any blood. So we're out here trying a new spot, see if we can turn something up. We just gotta go find a bull. think just trying to find an elk trying some new country tonight but uh got nothing to say but <laughs> Well, it's day four, I think. Um, trying a new spot today that we found on the map looks pretty good. Just pulled up here, it's just about light enough we can start glassing. So, me and Kyle still both have tags. Hopefully, we can find a couple bulls and tag out today. Got over here and go 
lost a bunch of bowls. So we put a put game plan together. We got to run back to town. Get her our, get west the truck keys and a radio. Well, we glassed up that group of bulls. There's probably about 30 bulls, probably maybe four or six points in there. And we finally found a way around private to get up in there. We're gonna go up the backside and drop down in. It should be probably five, 600 yards at most, maybe even closer shots. So we got the pack wheel loaded up with all of our packs. Hopefully we should be able to get that up there and help us out a little bit. And help get some get a couple out of bulls tonight. down. Hell yeah. Let's do it boys, right here. After it. About halfway up to the top where we want to be. We got this pack wheel that's helping us get all of our gear up, so it's making a world of difference. But got this old trail. Like I said, we're about halfway to the top, so hopefully another hour, hour and a half, we'll have some have some action and be right in the middle of the bulls. Old Betsy, she's getting <laughs> us up here. She's getting her to the top. <laughs> we're gonna feed her some elk later. Feel good about it, Dan? Oh yeah. We're gonna get a couple bolts down. Let's do it. Ready, Kyle. Put it right on him. Hold a little left. Just a little left. Front shoulder. You got him. Dead bull.
Well, we got Kyle on the bigger six we seen earlier today. That bull's down, but we got a whole group of about 15 bulls over here on this side hill. They don't know what's going on. I don't think they could hear the shot from the wind, really. So I'm gonna work it over, see if we can get the double down. Let's go, boys. Okay, ready? Yep, send it. Just hold steady. Put it right on. Let's put this in the right end. Ready? Yep. Squeeze through. Follow. You hit him. Reload. Good shot. Good shot. I'm on him. He's he's stumbling. He's just left. Don't shoot the upper one. I gotta zoom out a little. He's hit. Yeah, yeah he's, he's to the left. He's the middle bull facing away from us, just his ass. You can kind of see him there. I can't. <laughs> everything down off the top my bull's laying right over here ended up having to shoot him a couple two or three times we've got a long night ahead of us but it's gonna be awesome this is what it's all about hard work with the boys You can't ask for much more than that. It's got a sweet front, it like dips in. Mm hmm. Heck no. Bad for the first bowl ever, huh? Not bad, man. Good work. Thanks for your help, brother. No problem, dude. Yeah. Boom. third season Colorado bull over the counter not a bad first bull so big thanks to Skip and Chase for all their freaking help glassing yeah. and a lot of work ahead of us packing out but it's been a really fun hunt hanging out with the buds and crashing in the hotel room together and things so it's been it's been awesome it's just memories that uh, are gonna last a lifetime so we won't forget this one. This Heck is no. going to be a lot of work to get it up out of here. A lot of work. Long night ahead of us. We... Three guys. Three guys. No horses. Just our pack. So. Well, well let's, let's get, get to, to cutting it up. Here we go.